Angela Kelly is taking a walk through Packers history this morning. Yeah, she joins us live from along the Packers Heritage Trail. Hi, Angela. Hi guys, good morning. Well, I want you to take a look at this brochure. You can pick these up at Lambeau Field, um, the Green Bay Visitors and Convention Bureau, a number of hotels. And you're going to open it up and see a map of the Packers Heritage Trail. Well, we are joining you from right here on North Irwin Street in Green Bay. As you can see, the birthplace home of Curly Lambeau. And if we walk just a little bit further down the sidewalk, we see this plaque that has been added, and that means it's an official spot along the Packers Heritage Trail. And the man who created this, Cliff Crystal, is here with us. Good morning to you. Good morning. What would you like to share with, uh, share with us about Curly Lambeau's birthplace home? Well, this is one of the oldest homes in Green Bay, but nobody really knew Curly uh, lived here the first couple of years of his life, and that was because he apparently had told people he grew up on Cherry Street. But based on uh, tax records and city directories, there's no evidence that he ever lived there. And that was not unlike Curly to make up stories about things. So um, Ken Callowitz, a local attorney, and his son were the ones that discovered that this was the actual site where he was born. Um, lived here only a short time. The Lambos were an itinerant family, but um, he actually lived in six different homes before he graduated from high school. But this was uh, the Callowitz, uh, a lot of research, and mm -hmm. uh, they're one of the part sponsors of this plaque, and they, uh, they determined that this was where he was born, and, and city directories support that. A lot of people visit this place. Um, what made you decide to come up with this this heritage trail. Where does your experience come from that you were able to put all this together? Well, I spent 36 years in this state as a sports writer with uh, several Wisconsin newspapers and um, covered the Packers uh, for most of that, those years and just uh, done a lot of research on the history of the team, gone through microfilm and read old press gazettes and uh, the Milwaukee papers and uh, just realized how much history, plus I grew up here, about realized how much history there was, rich history about the Packers' involvement with mm -hmm. the community in downtown and we just decided as a community project, my wife and I, that uh, we would create the trail. Yeah, well it's very cool. In fact, there are um, 22 of these plaques uh, scattered around the Green Bay area. So. Go on and, and pick one of these up if, you, if you've got a, a free day off and, and take a walk. Check it out. Um, you can learn a lot about the Packers history. Back to you. Thanks, Ange. Thanks.